Blue group, Jeff here. And the Raza 11 is in the garage. I ordered this baby on November 14th of 2020. And it showed up a couple weeks ago. Uh, I've used it maybe five or six times. Uh, probably half of that I, I did a broadcast. Um, the other half I'm using some other gear uh, as part of my automation exper or test. And uh, what I'll do is just kind of go over what I have. Currently, uh, the Raz is set up with the, let's see if I can get this. This is the uh, 48 millimeter adapter. And what's nice about the new Raza, or at least with the 11, is that uh, on the 8 that I had, this slopped around. There was a lot of free play, so you had to be careful that uh, you got the camera centered in the uh, optical path. With this one, it's self-centering. Yay, Celestron. So I have two setups. This is my Mellencam setup. So when I run a Mellencam camera, I use this uh, cable right here. So that's the USB 3 and the power to the camera. I have a uh, 20 millimeter spacer, 48 threads then a Starzona filter slider, and then the camera. And that total back focus for that assembly is 55 millimeters. And then on my other setup, which is here, I have a Canon 5D Mark III that I did the H-alpha conversion on. I have a 48 millimeter to uh, Canon ESO adapter and when this is on the camera that's also 55 millimeters so it's an easy switch between using either this camera or a Mellencam camera. I have a cable bundle right here and this is for the DSLR. That's the USB 2 connection and the power and all I need to do is remove this bundle right here. Re loosen up these black uh, Velcro strips. And then uh, replace this big cable with the uh, one over there. And it takes about 10 minutes to do. Not a big deal. Uh, the other thing of note is I am guiding with a 200 and... Uh, 40 millimeter AstroTech 60 millimeter guide scope. I have an AG uh, 1.2C camera. I've got the Dewbuster that is uh, heating this 11 strip and these two on the do are on the guide scope. I've got a Celestron StarSense camera. That's it for the top. I have the Celestron Motor Focus. This is the battery pack for the cooler. And uh, da -da 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 -da. I have the StarSense hand controller. This is the power adapter for the, cam the uh, Mellencamp camera. I also have an adapter for the uh, uh, Canon Mark, uh, 5D Mark III. This is the power supply for my uh, mini PC. This is 280 watts. It's a big baby. And then this is my new experiment. This is an HP Z2 Mini G5. It's 8.5 by 8.5 by 2.5. The thing without the case weighs about 5.5 pounds. Uh, it's got, this is considered by HP to be a workstation class machine. And uh, with this external under the table housing, it gives me some added additional mounting points and it will protect the PC. It has a uh, i7 10700H 
uh, CPU that's 8 core, 16 threads, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, 512 uh, gig SSD for the C drive, and uh, I, I stuck a, uh, another 1 gig uh, SSD in it. It's got a T1000 NVIDIA chip and uh, I use that when I'm running Mellencamp Sky I'll run off the NVIDIA chip. I have a Pegasus USB hub. It's got six ports. They're all controllable over SCOM and I'm the reason I'm using this is I I know that this gear uh, by looking at the uh, uh, ASCOM interface, I can watch the voltage and it will tell me, it will tell me what the voltage is uh, going out to the ports. Each port is uh, guaranteed a minimum of 5.1 volts and it fluctuates between 5.1 and 5.2. So when I start having trouble with a Mellencamp camera, that's the first place I look to see if my voltage is dropped. And 99% of the time, it's not voltage, it's something else. I have that connected into the uh, computer here. I've got a NIC. So I have two USB uh, 3.2, I think it is, uh, here. I've got a USB-C. I've got three display ports. Uh, I have, uh, what is that? Oh, it's got a Kensington lock. There's the USB-C. There's two uh, USB uh, 3 1.2 ports here, along with a USB-C. And this case uh, I got for 20 bucks off eBay. It's a refurb. And basically that's just an open box. These, you can get a lot of good parts from HP uh, that are considered refurbs. They're basically... Uh, uh, big clients of theirs that just buy in bulk and then whatever they don't need gets returned back to HP and they can't sell them as new. They have to sell them as uh, refurbs. That's what this is. I love this. This case really helps to protect the, the PC and uh, the additional mounting points that I get from it. I can cover ports up if I want that they have uh, port covers if you don't want to have all the ports opened up. But for my my use, this has uh, worked out very well. In fact, I think I'm going to get another one for the C14. That's how well this thing is working. I use the uh, CAD5 cable right here to uh, remote desktop in. That's a Windows 10 Pro machine. And uh, using my laptop, I can, uh, off my computer card over here, I can remote desktop into this PC. And because my network is uh, running uh, business class switches and uh, routers, I have... Uh, no problem at all with remote de desktop uh, over my network. So much so that uh, I can stream and still pull stuff off. Uh, I can stream to Lie Skies and then uh, remote desktop in and it doesn't even bat an eyelash. Great, great, great thing. This is the Harbor Freight cart. This is their big one, the thousand pounder. And I, I, I think I did a video on this, I'm not sure. And the reason I went with this is my driveway is old and it's got a lot of cracks in it. And this has four inch wheels. And that helps me on my driveway. And I just think that these wheels are a better fit for what I'm trying to do. I made this uh, out of scrap pieces I had for my CNC machine. And as you can see, I'm picking up from the leg extension knobs, uh, bolts on this machine or this OTA. And let me just drop it down here. 
So for the the C14, I just remove these. Remove this, this, and then the other one over there. And this catches onto the spreader legs, the spreader housing on the leg. So that would go into here, the one on that leg, and the one on the back leg. And when I pick up the C14, that's, that's not going anywhere on this cart. The same with this. So I made these adapters to fit my things they just fit right in they don't move and then uh, I'll lift from there and when they fall into these little grooves they, this this mount will go nowhere these parts right here I use to help me level on this machine um, with this setup, I can't lift here and then try and uh, either extend or retract a leg because that's where you loosen to do that. So I had to have another pickup point. And basically what I'm doing is... Let's see if I can do this from here. I'll just... Up in there. So that allows me to uh, lift the leg. I have access to the uh, the knob so that I can loosen the nut and then I can either extend or retract the leg to get uh, my level. My On this particular mount, this bubble level, when they made this head and inserted this bubble level, the guy must have just got a raise because this one's perfect. I check all my bubble levels with a carpenter's level, and this one's dead nuts. On the C14, I have two levels, one here and then one here. This one is bad, this one is good, so I have to use this one. My plans for the uh, using the Raza is uh, either through uh, a Mellencamp camera and I would broadcast that uh, via Live Skies when I'm out and if I'm in a automated mode and I want to put my 5D on it I won't broadcast it, but I'll record it, and I'll put it up on my YouTube channel. So, if you care to follow my Raza exploits, uh, just keep an eye on my channel, subscribe, and then uh, you'll start getting some Raza updates. I am beholden to the weather, as, as all amateur astronomers are, and so far this spring it's been uh, <laughs> not not the best weather. I uh, just hope it doesn't carry over into the summer. I have uh, just found out that this, the primary street that uh, everyone in this neighborhood uses, they just replaced all the lights, the street lights with LEDs, so that explains the uh, additional glow I'm seeing in my imagery, so I'm going to have to come up with some filters to to uh, kind of combat the uh, the LED lighting that I'm now got to deal with, and uh, as I work myself through the summer, I will uh, post what I can and broadcast what I can. I hope you uh, care to watch, and we'll see you on the group. Thanks for stopping by.